Welcome back to my channel. I look like freaking Rudolph. It's okay. I'm going to the dermatologist today, so we will figure out whatever we need to do about my skin and whatever is going on. But welcome to the vlog. I had those chocolate croissants from Trader Joe's this morning. I don't think they like rose enough, but they like baked and they were like perfectly fine. Today is Friday. I actually have a surprise birthday party that I'm going to later tonight. One of my friends' birthday is this weekend. So, I mean, she's having a surprise birthday party, but she knows every single thing about it. So it's really not a surprise but we're still calling it a surprise birthday party just because like we did. I got this top from Amazon yesterday. I really like it. I'll link it down below. I've been wanting like a top like this that isn't see-through and finally found one. I also got another thing from Amazon while we're at it. I got this. You guys remember in one of my recent vlogs, I got a vase, a black vase just like this, but it was like way too big. So I got the smaller version. I'll link the vase, the top, and I'll even link these like fake flowers. They feel very real. Like people are always like, whoa, these are fake. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. I could not keep these alive. I tried. But yeah, we're off to a pretty like tired start to the morning. My dermatologist appointment is in less than an hour. I need to figure out where it is because it's the same dermatologist. It's the same company, but it's like the Scottsdale location, not the Tempe location because I went to it in Tempe when I was in college, if, if we're following. Yes. <laughs> I have to be honest, I've been wanting to do this for a while. I'm gonna move some of the things around on these shelves. I'm just curious how it will turn out. I don't know how it will turn out, we'll see. things will this ever be complete probably not i moved this coffee table book under here i don't know if it's too much and then this right here i don't know we still have time to figure it out <laughs> this morning i was just rough cutting a video after i get back from the dermatologist i'm going to completely like finish editing it like do all the music the effects everything like that but i have been working this morning i need to see how far away my dermatologist's office is i'm sure it's not very far like i said i still haven't been to this one before it's a one minute drive i could like literally walk I'm not going to, but I could. Wow, that is really close. Okay. Does anyone else get like anxious going to doctor's appointments because they don't understand their insurance that well? <laughs> is that just me? I really don't understand insurance. I feel like they make it like complicated on purpose. My video for today was just uploaded. So I'm currently responding to a ton of comments. My dermatologist appointment was 30 minutes later than I thought it is. So I had some time to get some more work done, but I'm just responding to comments right now. And I love doing it. Just got out of the dermatologist. I literally just hate this. They, ugh, I hate a topical. I would rather just take like an oral medication because topicals just make my skin want to fall off. So what they're putting me on is called a cleaf. They gave me like little samples of it, but then I had to order it. I don't want to do it, but here I am. Okay, you guys, my rug is here. I'm so excited. I'm a little nervous because it doesn't look like it's the right color. I thought it was going to be like all white and cream and it is beige with white polka dots. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it because it's not what I thought it was and I honestly didn't even look at the return policy because I was just like screw it I'm doing it. I don't care. Oh fuck. <laughs> well the consequences of my own actions. I think I want to take a before photo So I'm just gonna you know remove all this stuff. The before photo will be cute I thought it was an all white rug. I don't understand ah. This was like something that I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna be impulsive. I'm gonna do it. I'm kind of upset with myself now. Just took a before photo. I'm thinking of doing like a tap for a rug type of thing on my Instagram. I think first and foremost, I'm going to obviously move the coffee table and then vacuum everything so I can like lay it on like a clean surface. Please don't scratch my floors. Okay, go. I'm honestly hoping this might be the back of it. I think it might be actually now that I'm looking at it like this might be like the cream part and this is like the bottom, which is kind of cute. Like low key, it could be reversible. You need to be very careful when I cut it. Yes, okay, perfect, good, we're good, we're in the clear. We're in the clear, yeah, good, as Taylor Swift would say. This looks like, oh, this is not soft. This is itchy, ugh, yikes. I don't care, we're doing this. Should I probably open this closer to where I'm gonna roll it out? Okay, it's still taped together. Oh, it's falling. 
Ah, okay, this is... Yikes. I guess since this is going on the floor, I can drag it out. Oh, dang it, the thing came with it. Oh, my poor neighbors that just like dropped really hard on the ground. Yikes! Plastic is stuck to me. <laughs> Keeps sticking to my feet. How am I going to do this? I don't know. Should I just roll it out? Ooh, pretty. Oh, it's kind of. Okay, yeah, yeah. I probably do need to get one of those like mats for under it so it doesn't slip. Okay, it's actually not that itchy to stand on. Where do I want it? That's the real question. Obviously a little bit under the couch. Mm, it kind of does clash with the couch a little bit. You can see this is kind of like yellow creamy. This is more pure white, but I think, I think I'll be fine. Yeah, well, am I second guessing it? Am I overthinking it? I don't, mm, I might be overthinking this. I'm gonna move my plant out of the way. I think I want it a little bit more this way and then Okay, I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm doing it. I don't know if this was big enough. Maybe I needed it like this way longer. Oh, this is, why is it so much heavier on that side? What the heck? Like wh why was one side of the couch so much heavier than the other? That makes no sense, none. Okay. I don't think it's big enough because of this. Oh, I don't, I don't know. I'm overthinking it. We'll put the coffee table back and see. Oh, I can't just drag the coffee table. I have to lift it and I don't know if I'm strong enough to do that. Ow, ow, ow. The coffee table just whew, dropped it on my toe. Okay, okay, oh, dang it, it's not. I'm dripping sweat. I am dripping sweat. Okay, the rug is bunching up here because of the coffee table. Yeah, this rug is definitely not big enough. Oh, do you see? Uh, oh, 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 it's like under my finger. The, oh, the coffee table like got stuck under my finger. Ouch. Yeah, I don't think it's big enough. Dang it. There's some like bunches in it. Guys, I'm like sweating so much right now. I didn't realize this was gonna be a workout. I'm definitely gonna sit with it for a while, but I don't think it's big enough. I know that I want it to be like slightly under the couch. I don't know how I feel about it. I think it needs to be longer. Like I think it needs to go more here, but I'm curious what your guys' thoughts are. I think I need to move the coffee table a little bit. I just don't like moving it now. I just, huh. Yeah, I just don't think it's like big enough for the space. Let me step back and look at it. It's a no. It's a no. And I don't think it's gonna be the right size for my bedroom now that I'm thinking about this. This is rough. We're going to attempt to move the coffee table again. We know how well that went the first time. Cute rug, I just don't think it's the right size, but I totally thought it would be. I'm gonna sit with it. I'm just gonna vibe with it. I don't think I can return it. I mean, I should look at the return policy, but I don't know how I would literally, come on, now I have to move this and then this is just gonna be the whole thing. It's crooked too. We're just really trying things here. Going on here? I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I think it's a really good length going this way, but not this way. So I don't know. Maybe this is fine. I'm not a rug expert. What do you guys think? Do you guys think like I think if it ended like maybe here, it would be fine. Honestly, it's growing on me. Well, maybe it's not. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I don't know if I like it. Is this too big of a gap? I'm overthinking it, clearly. Also, I know that I want it partly under the couch. Like, I don't want it to just be like there. Like, I know that I want it to be under the couch a little bit because I don't like the look of like, just like a random rug. It needs to be like connected to some furniture. So I don't know. I really don't know. I checked, I have 30 days to return it. So I think I'm gonna sit with it for like a week and a half and then kind of reevaluate how I feel. Cause a lot of the times when I first get something, we know with my couch, I'm like, eh. And I still feel eh about my couch, but I couldn't return that. But I can return this. I checked the return policy. I don't know how I can return such a big rug. Like, I don't know how the process of that is, but it is possible. Keeping my options open. But if I do return it, do you guys think I should get this rug again? Or do you think I should get a different rug? Because initially I wanted like something with more of like a pattern, maybe like a neutral or like a little bit of colorful rug. And everyone convinced me into getting this one because it kind of just goes with everything. Like no matter what, it will match whatever I own. So what do you guys think? You guys like this rug here's a little zoom in of it it's just like this kind of like cream braided rug i mean it's really good quality like this is like a nice thick rug this is the details of if anyone is interested this is a six by nine so maybe i'll get a square rug like a nine by nine i don't know I'll do more measuring next time if I do end up returning this. I have the worst luck with buying stuff for this apartment, but it's okay It's a process and we're in this together
So I've been complaining about something in my vlogs for quite some time now and I've decided that I am finally going to do something about it. And that is my bathroom is so hot and I get ready in it. So I'm no longer going to be getting ready in it. I'm going to be getting ready in my bedroom. Let me show you. It's a little messy, but just let me show you. This is the desk that I used to get ready at all the time in my last apartment. And when I initially moved into this apartment, my plan was to have this desk against the window and to be able to get ready here. But my bathroom is so big. So I was like, I might as well just get ready in there. But like I said, it's way too hot. There's like no air conditioning in there. So I sweat every time I get ready. I'm going to move my room around. Like I said, very messy and make room for me to be able to get ready here. So we're basically just shifting the bed over a little bit, but we're going to see how that goes. I was initially going to sell this desk, but thankfully I didn't. As you can see, there's like no room in between this desk and the bed. I had the desk there just to put it there in the meantime before I sold it. But now that I'm not selling it at the moment, we're just going to see how this goes. If I don't like it, I can just move it back. First things first, we're going to have to move the bed a little bit this way and let's just move everything out of the way. I'll probably just end up putting this basket on the other side of the room. I don't know how far I want to move it because I don't want it to be super tight in here. We'll try this. I also want the desk to be against the window just because natural lighting for getting ready in the morning. It looks nicer if you ask me. I've never actually like moved this bed. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I think this will work. I do think it makes the room look a lot smaller, obviously. You know what? Let's put this chair here. Okay, so there is quite a bit of room. Obviously, I need to move that. I think you may be moving the bed a little bit more this way. This might sound weird, but I don't think I'm gonna keep the chair like sitting at the desk at all times. I'm just gonna put it there while I get ready and have it next to the desk. So what if we... How is this? Okay. Oh, I think that looks a lot better. I like that a lot more. The bed is still kind of centered, so I'm just gonna move this a little bit back. And I mean, maybe I can move it a little. See, this is what happens. I'm always like, well, I can just, eh, meh, meh. I think I'm gonna move it like an inch more this way. Just so it's not super crammed. Okay, how's this? How's this? I don't think it's bad. The bed is definitely not like centered. Do I move it this way a little bit again? <sighs> yeah, no, see, there is still quite a bit of room. You guys think I'm crazy. I am. Okay, taking a step back. Wait, I need to take a step back the other way. <laughs> yeah, I'm good with, I honestly don't know if I really did anything. No, I totally did, because I'm pretty sure that the chair wouldn't even have fit there before. Oh, the chair won't come out. No, yeah, well, yeah, well. <laughs> False alarm. Okay, so we did shift it like this much this way. I still think it looks good, so I'm happy with it. I need a dust. It's kind of dusty. Yikes. I think I'm happy with this because it has room for me to sit at the desk when I'm not using it I really like having this chair here. I don't know why I just think it looks good like this I'm considering moving the desk like maybe directly under the window. I don't know. I mean if we're here We might as well try it Yeah, I don't think it looks bad. Okay. Next step is clearing out what's in these. I'm putting my makeup in it I have this and I have this. Okay. Aww. I need to put these around my apartment. Oh, there's scissors in here. I did not know that. the Reese's pumpkin wrapper. Let's make the bed and then I'll show you guys the final look. I 
I feel like I don't really show you guys my bedroom that often. When I lived with people, I was always in my bedroom, just constantly in my bedroom. And now that I live alone, I'm like, I don't have to always be in my bedroom. Like I can be in my living room, I can be in my kitchen and still have my own like alone time. So I don't spend as much time in here as I used to spend in my previous bedrooms, but I love this bedroom. But I do want to redecorate it. It's just not on my priority list. Here is the bedroom. Oh my gosh, my phone kind of just like ruins the whole vibe. Sorry, I'll just put it in my pocket. <laughs> It's not going in. That's what she said. Yeah. I really like this because there's still a ton of room over here. I was afraid that like making room for the chair over here would just like really shift it this much over here and just make it feel cramped. But I really do like it. And I honestly like having this chair here because I sit on this chair all the time. I put things on this chair. I should probably clean it. It looks a little dirty, but there's still enough room. Fingers crossed, I hope, for me to just kind of put it... I mean, it is a tight squeeze. Wait, will I be able to sit? I did not think about sitting open this okay yeah well, this is totally fine this works i mean is it the most comfortable thing it is a little a little tight i must be honest maybe i want to move it a little bit more this way now why do i do this to myself no i think it should be fine like mm, i was just like a little bit i put all the makeup in this side but now i'm like what if i want it in this side what do i want to do i didn't think this through I'm gonna move it again. I'm gonna move it again. It's fine. Everything's fine. We're gonna move this like slightly over a little bit again. I don't know. I'm overthinking this. I really am overthinking this. Move over. I beautifully laid out all this, so I think I'm gonna take this contact paper and move it over here because there's a gap. So I need to move all these things over. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it's a little small for the space. Okay, this is what it's gonna look like for a while now. I also moved these over here. They were on my nightstand, but I had like a little fake plant right here, but I felt like it was like too much fake plants with this one on that side and then like one right here. So I have some little pictures right there. But this is my bedroom, kind of rearranged, but honestly not that much. Good morning everyone. Today is Monday. I'm actually editing this vlog right now. This vlog is kind of a mixture of like a bunch of clips from a bunch of different days. So days in my life. This weekend was really fun. Last week I felt very burnt out. I kind of felt like I was pushing my social battery more than I should have. I had plans every single night of every single day of the week. And for an introvert, if you are an introvert, you know that is hell. <laughs> I love hanging out with my friends and I love spending time with them, but I am someone who needs to decompress alone in my own space without anyone. And if I don't do that, I just feel so exhausted, so mentally drained and my social battery is at like a complete zero. So every single day last week I had stuff to do and I just didn't feel like I had any alone time other than when I was working. And that to me still isn't like decompressing if you're working, if you have something to do. Like to me, truly decompressing and like resetting is just like laying on my couch, having absolutely nothing to do and relaxing with no one around like that to me is like euphoria i vlogged a little bit of friday on friday i was just so drained that i felt like talking to my camera I was like talking to another person my social battery was not it so i actually had plans to go to a party on friday it was one of my friend's birthday parties and i didn't go which i felt really bad about not going no one was mad at me thankfully everyone like really understood and it was like the best decision i had like ever made for my mental health like it was a great decision i just laid on my couch i got the rug and everything and i just did nothing and it was the best feeling ever and then on saturday i moved my room around as you guys saw and then sunday i did a little hot air balloon ride which was so fun oh my gosh it was such a fun time i actually got a few like montage clips so i'll insert them right here But the hot air balloon 
balloon ride was so cool. I don't know what I thought was cooler, watching them blow up the hot air balloons or actually being in the hot air balloon itself. It was so cool, like seeing them like kind of like, uh, not what's the opposite of deflate, inflate. <laughs> watching them inflate, it kind of reminded me of like an elementary school with like the parachutes in PE, if you know what I'm talking about, like when everyone would get under them and they like kind of dome up. That's what it reminded me of. And I would do anything to be back at that time in my life to be able to like do that again. So that was really fun. And it was so relaxing. Like I just never really thought an air hot air balloon ride would be like that relaxing, but it was like incredible. We saw some coyotes, we saw some jackrabbits, we saw two hawks and an owl flying around because the hot air balloon ride was in the desert because that's Arizona. And so we went with this company called Rainbow Riders. It was me and my friend Sky. Riders with a Y and not an I. It was a really great time and I'm so glad I was able to experience that. It was definitely like a bucket list item. I love heights. I told my friend that and she was like, I've literally never heard of anyone say they love heights. And I was like, I love them. Like I love a pretty view. I'm not afraid of falling. Sometimes I am afraid of falling, but like in things like that where there's like a professional experienced person, I'm not that afraid. So it was just a really fun weekend. And then after that, I just kind of like laid back and relaxed and I had some work to get done. But like other than that, I feel like I didn't really do anything, which was very much needed. So right now I'm just editing this video. So it is kind of like a bunch of like random days strung together but like this vlog like I kind of did a lot so I'm like mm, there's like some great stuff happening <laughs> my face in this clip but I'm gonna get back to rough cutting this and then we will start doing some stuff for the day up those to-do list orders and then I had a few customer service things that I needed to take care of for the to-do list because I do it all myself so that was something that I did really quickly so I'm gonna go drop those off at the post office and then I think I'm gonna go to Sephora really quickly and get my makeup remover because the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm is one that I've been using and that one I know for a fact does not break me out because I've used it for years and I got this one from CeraVe I think I showed it to you guys in a vlog when I got it it's like CeraVe's version of the Take the Day Off Balm I started using this around the time that my skin started started breaking out you guys can see you can see it all under my makeup I don't want to be a broken record and talk about my skin all the time because like you know I don't want to be complaining about my insecurities all the time but I was reading some comments from today's vlog and people were being like thank you so much for talking about this because like I've been going through this too and it's like nice knowing that I'm not alone and it like makes me feel like less insecure knowing that other people are going through it so if you want me to talk about my skin journey I will but if you were like shut up about it I'll shut up anyways I started using this around the time that my skin started breaking out who knows that this is why my skin started breaking out you know you would think like CeraVe like it's not the kind of brand that would do that but I think the day after I use this is like when my skin started getting bad and then it just progressively started getting worse so I'm just not gonna use this for a while and I'm gonna use what I know works on me even if it's more expensive and we will see how that goes so I'm gonna stop by Sephora and get that because I tried buying it on Amazon and a bunch of people were like this is not the real thing like this is fake and I was like oh don't want to get that so that is the plan for right now and then i'm going to come back and get some work done actually pause i'm actually going to go to cvs as well because another thing that i have for my skin that my dermatologist prescribed is ready and then i think before i leave i'm actually going to post an instagram photo I need to edit them really quickly it's for like the hot air balloon company so i think i'm going to quickly edit those post it and then we'll head out and run our errands in this dark parking garage. Wait, 
locking my doors. Love the fact that I'm a woman and have to lock my doors because <laughs> I'm too scared. I don't know. I only went into Sephora. I didn't go into any other stores. I just haven't been like in the mood to spend money and like I never want to spend money but sometimes I'm like there are things that I want. There is something that I got. Wow, that really came out of nowhere. How do I pause this? Anyways, I did get one other thing other than the makeup remover. So this is the makeup remover. It's the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. It is just like a solid. I don't even know the texture. It's basically a solid. And then, then when you work it into your skin, it turns into an oil. So it just kind of melts off all the makeup. I love that I don't have to like wet my face first. There's some makeup removers that you have to wet your face. That has makeup on it and then put it on. That's just not my vibe. So I really like this stuff. And then I got this. So this is... <gasps> no! That was so dramatic the way I just screamed no. I'm so stupid. This is the conditioner. I meant to get the shampoo. Dang it. They were all out of the shampoo and I I thought that there was one left because it says shampoo on here, but this is the conditioner. Anyways, this is day. I needed a new shampoo because the one that I have, maybe that was causing me to break out because that was also around the time that I was breaking out. So I'm just trying to cut out every everything. And the shampoo that I am using is definitely like years old. Like it's like three years old. So I thought that I would try this because this is so good. I got, this is the conditioner. And I don't need conditioner. I don't know what I want to do now. Maybe I'll order the shampoo online and just have the full set. I don't feel like returning it because like I was so embarrassed. It was kind of like a whole situation when I got this. Like the lady just made me feel stupid <laughs> in line at Sephora. Dang it. But you know, there was one other thing that I was wanting to get that I forgot until after I checked out. I wanted to get the glow screen from Supergoop, like the sunscreen. I was like, that's definitely the shampoo. I was convinced. Now I just feel stupid. <laughs> Anyways, um, I told you guys that I do have to get my prescription from CVS, but I think I'm gonna do that later because number one, I'm starving and I have food at home. And number two, I have a gift card to CVS that I left at home. So I wonder if I can use that gift card on prescriptions. I have no idea, but I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna finish listening to that Taylor Swift song and we're gonna eat some food and probably order that shampoo online if there's free shipping. We are back home. I literally still have my purse on. Let me hang her up. <laughs> Time for lunch. So I actually got takeout last night and there was a deal where you can get like two entrees for a certain price. So I got two of what I normally get so I could have leftovers. This is like my childhood favorite restaurant called Payway. It's basically like, if you guys have ever been to P of Chang's, I don't know if that's like a national, I think that's a national brand. This is like their fast food version of it. My order is honey stirred chicken on fried rice. I'm going to put it in like a little bowl because I don't think I'm hungry enough for all of that. And if I am, I can just go back for seconds. I love a fried rice and like some kind of, mm, yes, this is uh, yum. This is going to be so freaking good. I already know. My favorite is when you get like the chicken sauce on the rice and then it's like, oh. Oh, yum. I definitely did eat the fortune cookie while I was waiting for it to heat up in the microwave. My fortune, you are a lover of words. Someday you should write a book. Anyone want me to write a book? I ate another fortune cookie. I'm not looking for the love of my life right now, so yikes. I just spent the past couple hours doing some random work that I have. Since October is coming up, I'm just kind of like brainstorming some ideas for videos that I want to make. And I wanted to show you guys what I've been writing it on. This is the back side of last week's weekly to-do list. This is the weekly extended. You can see I spilled something on it. <laughs> but this is the back of the paper. This is the size of a regular sheet of copy paper, but it's like over twice as thick. So it's really good quality paper. And I've just been writing down some ideas. I'm about to plan out my October reset video. Most of my videos I don't plan out, have like a script or anything like that, but for that kind of video I do because there's like certain things I want to talk about. So I'm going to use the bottom half to brainstorm things that I want to talk about. If you guys want to buy this, my Oh, it's got a text. My ringtone is a like impossible sound. Yeah. Um, this is the weekly extended. I love this. Plans out my week. Pretty much every single beginning of the week, I'm like, oh, my week is not that busy. And then every day I just add and add things to them. So I was adding a bunch of things for tomorrow. I'll link it down below for you guys as always. But it's the best way, in my opinion. You need to turn my ringer off. Anyways, it's the best way to keep me on track and make sure that I don't forget anything. I just 
realize how long this video is probably going to be. I've been working for the past couple of hours and now the business day is over. So I'm probably just gonna end the vlog here. I feel like this is a very long video. If it's not a long video and in my head for some reason I think it's long but it's not, I'm sorry. And if it is long, I hope you like that it's long. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.